with another pickups video. I'm just gonna jump right into this, guys. This is basically what I picked up last month or so. Up first, there's a couple NES games that I actually bought on my birthday. Um, nothing special, just a couple commons. Uh, the first is Clax, and then we have Ten Yard Fight. Then we got NES Play Action Football. Um, that was my birthday. We had just gone to dinner. And across the street was a game store that I go to a lot, and uh, those were there. I think they were like two bucks a piece, maybe like three bucks a piece. So nothing special, but just felt like indulging and you know treating myself to a couple games. And then uh, that same day, uh, as a birthday present, my girlfriend got me something that I really wanted, been really wanting for a while. That is a uh, Wii Mini. So if you don't know what these are, a lot of people don't really know that these came out. There's basically a simplified Wii. Uh, it turns on like a Wii, works, I mean, it has the same Wii home menu, but you, there is no internet connectivity on this at all. You can't go on Netflix, you can't go on YouTube, you can't download games, you can't play on um, well, uh, multiplayer games um, online, I guess you could say. And uh, it's a little bit different, it doesn't have like the disk drive, like you, like, you push it in, uh, you have to open it and insert the disk, as you can see. I've been playing New Super Mario Bros. Um, there's a power button right here. Comes with a red Wiimote. And the red nunchuck I do not have handy right now. But it comes with that as well. And then it comes with a copy of Mario Kart. Um, I've been looking for those for a while. I wanted to get one when they first like really came out. Or I, I first noticed them. But I just never got around to it. And my girlfriend really wanted one of those. So she ended up buying it for me for my birthday, and I'm really thankful for that. Um, really, really grateful. Thanks. And then she ended up getting me a couple more things um, like a week later, I think. The first up is these wireless PS1 remotes that she found at a Goodwill. Um, right here is the receiver, as you can see. And what's cool about these is that they also double up as uh, TV remotes. See. Right here in D-pad is channel up or channel down, volume up, volume down, mute, uh, turn on the TV. I'm not sure what these two do, but it functions as a TV remote and a PS1 controller, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, I don't think they've ever been used either, so that was awesome. Um, also at that same Goodwill, she found me a couple N64 games. Uh, the first is Pilot Wings 64. Then we have Hexen, and then last but not least, the game that I, the series that I loved on the PlayStation. I never tried it on the 64, but I'm pretty excited to. It's a Ready to Rumble Boxing Round Two. So she got me those three games and that uh, little wireless remotes. So I'm really thankful for that as well. Um, I think that's Saturday that she got me those. I went to this. There's this local flea market that they do here in town that they only do for like around three months or four months. It starts in June and ends in October. And um, I went to the first day that it opened and one of the stands, like this guy had like just like random assortment of games. And he had a glass case with a bunch of like World War II memorabilia and stuff like that, coins, whatever. And in the middle of that case, I saw this uh, Game Boy Advance SP. And I knew just by the color of it that it was a one-to-one. -one. Ended up being, I'm not sure what they're, uh, pink? I'm not sure what the exact name is, but it works fine. No game, uh, no charger as well. So I only paid five bucks for that. So I thought that was a pretty good uh, deal, especially for a 101. I might just get a, a shell for that. I'll make it look nice. And at a garage sale later that day, I found a crimson red DS Lite. No stylus and no charger, but I only paid five bucks for it. I didn't think that was too bad of a deal. Um, at that same garage sale, I saw, I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this uh, Mario statue, but it's basically a Mario, um, and it has its hands sticking out like this. It was on a Retro Liberty episode, a couple episodes back on their channel. Um, I think Ricky wanted it. No, Ricky got it, and this other guy wanted it. So I seen that, but as I was about to go reach for it, some little kid goes and grabs it, didn't let go of it, and uh, stayed there for a couple minutes, he was going to let it go, but then he ended up paying for it, so that was pretty weak. But you know, that's how that's how it goes. Uh, next up are some Goodwill 
grabs that I got. Uh, the first is actually a pretty cool movie. One of my favorite movies, actually, from when I was a kid. And uh, I'm excited to watch this again with my girlfriend. It's uh, Aladdin. It's the Platinum Edition. It has like, a bunch of special features and stuff like that. It's a cool little book-style DVD case. So I got that. And I love looking at the games because well, they, they have the games that you know spread out through the DVDs. And you know, I never come across GameCube games. There's some there right now. There's like Harry Potter and like Mary Kate and Ashley, but I never come across you know decent GameCube games. And um, that day was an exception because I ended up finding Tales of Symphonia. Has both discs. The discs are pretty clean, and then has a manual as well. So for three bucks, couldn't really leave it there. Uh, where does that leave us? That leads us to what? I picked up yesterday. I'm gonna move some stuff around. Uh, I went to the garage sales, some garage sales yesterday. Didn't find anything. There was some really crappy drivers out there yesterday. Really put me in a really bad mood. I didn't have my, my coffee or anything like that, so I was cranky already. And just not finding anything, and those fucking asshole drivers really put me in a bad mood. So I decided just to go to the flea market instead. It was already really late, it was like 9 o'clock. Um, that which basically means most of the good stuff or if not all of the good stuff's already gone so I went and to my surprise at one of the first stops I made or like one of the first booths I actually visited I found some you know a pretty decent stack of NES games uh, I asked the guy how much he wanted he said two bucks a piece and the bummer about this really is that I asked him how if they had any more games and he said oh you just missed like literally a second before you got here some guy walked off with around ten of them so there might have been you know some Mega Man's or some pretty good games in there, but nonetheless, I got a game I've been really looking for and really excited to have now and to play and to you know probably like the gem of my NES collection. And that's Barbie, and then we have Solomon's Key, and they come in these cool Funko Land uh, dirt, uh, dust leaves. I got Solomon's Key, a uh, game I already had, but. Uh, it's a label upgrade for mine. Probably just gonna sell the other one. It's Gunsmoke. And then we have um, a game that I haven't really seen that often at the flea market. And when I do, it's like at the reseller booth and asking like an insane amount for. There's not really that much of a valuable game. It's uh, the original Popeye. And this is the only label that actually has like some kind of damage to it. It's like a little bubble there. But other than that, the rest of the labels are pretty, pretty nice. And then, uh, I guess you could say the gem of the whole NES lot. Game I've been looking for, it's a black box game. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the one that's just like a clone of Joust. It's Balloon Fight. The label's pretty nice. I'm trying to see the camera's gonna pick it up. So I got those five games for $10. I was, really wasn't going to haggle with the guy. Uh, he also had some accessories that I didn't really want at the time. Um, he also had a Rob, but it was really dirty and really messed up. It didn't have all of its pieces, and he was asking like 80 for it or something like that. Just ridiculous. Um, I mean, I know it's valuable. I know it's rare, but just like the shape that it was in and the shape the box was in. The box had like a whole side of it missing. It was just disgusting. Uh, I didn't get that, and... I wasn't going to get the other accessory, but as I was walking around, I didn't find anything else. I just, you know what, screw it. I went back and I picked it up. Uh, the first accessory is the NES satellite, and it comes with its receiver. Uh, I never really, I thought this was a four score when I first saw it, but then I saw this and I'm thinking, oh, okay, it's this satellite. Not really um, too knowledgeable and NES accessories and then as I was getting that he pulled out this and asked if I was interested in, it, interested in this sorry guys um, it didn't have any of its receivers I'm not sure exactly what comes with this so if you guys know if you could please let me know it'd be awesome but it is a NES power glove it's pretty clean inside I tried it out already if it if it pretty well um, like I said I know it comes with like some kind of receivers or like some motion sensor or something like that. 
but the guy didn't have anything. I asked him, um, he tried to, he said, I think I do, and he pointed it out, but it was like a connect um, receiver thing. So now nah, it's not gonna work with the guy. So I asked him how much he wanted for the satellite. He said 20, and he said 25 on this. So there was no way I was gonna pay 20 bucks for the satellite, because I'd seen it was like 15 bucks on eBay. So if I wanted it cheaper, I could just get it on eBay. And I'm not sure exactly what the value is on this, so if anybody can help me out with that, that'd be awesome. But I told, I basically explained now that this is basically not going to work unless I get the receivers. I don't know how much they're going to cost online. So I told him I wasn't going to get this. So he said, you know what, just give me 10 for it. And then he was going to throw that in for 5. So for 15, I got the Power Glove and the NES Satellite, which I was really stoked on. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. There's a freaking ice cream man right outside of the window. Kind of pissed me off. So I picked those up, I you know, went home, I was pretty happy, just, you know, it was a pretty good ending to a shitty um, hunting morning. So, came back home, cleaned them all up, got ready for this video, and at this moment I'm actually negotiating with somebody on, Cra on Craigslist about a Super Nintendo lot. We're throwing, you know, um, I was going to get some of the games, but then I said, you know, how much for the whole lot, so we're trying to, we're going back and forth on the price to see what we're going to end up on and uh oh one more find that i got uh with that with my girlfriend uh we've been really wanting one of these for a while i'm not sure Let's see if i'm gonna pick it up right this is a new 50 inch uh, led tv that's like the uverse at&t uverse like uh i guess you could say home screen you press ok and it starts watching tv so i picked that up on thursday i believe of this past week so I'm pretty stoked on that um, and that's about it guys see if I if I do 